Hi and welcome to the second chapter. These first chapters uh, I'm going to talk about something which is important at the beginning uh, of our road, uh, which is uh, you seeing and appreciating your own worth, your, your own value. And at the beginning I want to teach you how to really appreciate yourself and how to love yourself. But today, uh, before we start that, I am going to uh, talk about something which is, well, actually hard um, to take in and can be very painful, <clears throat> but it's very, very important. It's so uh, hard to take it in that for me, which I am ashamed to tell you right now. It took me well four years actually to uh, to try and cope with that because I was so blocked by my myself. Actually, I, I blocked myself and I wasn't ready to go to that level. But it's very important to do that because if you don't, well, you can't even imagine you can't even hope uh, of being happy for most of us we have something that uh, we really want to have or we really want to do something which is very important to us and for most of us uh, it's like the more we try to achieve it, the harder and harder and harder it gets, as if reality really stopped us or tried to stop us from getting what we want, what we think that we really, really need, what, what we think that is the most important thing in our life. And uh, the hardest thing to do is getting in line with the fact that maybe we are not destined to have that and uh, I really can't stress enough maybe well one of the uh, well best examples uh, is rela relationships because the, the when you want to have a relationship when you want to have somebody to, to love and to uh, love you it's really painful uh, when you try to get that somebody or if you have somebody that, that you are in love with but uh, that person doesn't respond the same it's really painful. So, uh, what I want to tell you is that it's very important to uh, open up a gate in your head. Open up a gate that maybe, really, maybe, it's not a certainty. It's really just a maybe. You're not destined to for example, to be in a relationship. And I not, don't mean destiny as if some something is written in a great book somewhere in heavens, no. I mean you're not destined because you are not, your abilities are of a different kind and they lead you somewhere else. But <clears throat> if it's not your fault Really, don't judge yourself. Don't think less of yourself. You can't if you can't achieve what you think that you really, really want. That that you think it's the most important thing in your life. Because really, we are different. Everybody's different. Everybody has different strong sides, and everybody ha has different weak sides. 
but if uh, we code into our heads something that we really have to have or without that our life will be without a meaning and that thing doesn't happen we get really frustrated we block ourselves and we really have no chance to be uh, happy because we are really locked inside our heads but uh, on the other side uh, I think it's a mechanism uh, that's made really to protect us and really I don't mean only relationships I mean maybe a job maybe something you want to do for example you want to be a race driver but we all know that you need well even if you have the abilities you need to have sponsors you need to have money you need to have cars etc 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 for most of us it won't happen and if you only concentrate on this one thing you will just uh, stop yourself from growing and stop yourself from um, achieving anything in your life. So if you open up yourself, if you uh, open yourself to the, to, to the possibility that maybe you will never have what you think that you really want, and yes, I, I'm saying that on purpose, you, what you think that you really want because we make images in our heads that really are are not 100% um, direct to the reality really we sometimes just want something and it's only emotional okay but what are the benefits if you open up yourself really to different options different things for first, if you really look around, if you see the alternatives, maybe you will find something that you can really be happy in doing, what you can do, what you, what's achievable, and you can realize that and you can be really happy doing that. And if you find that thing, remember, don't think of it as as plan B no think of it that you actually found your road your way found something that you are destined to do really that's the that's a very important thing that's a great benefit because it opens you up and you can move on with your life because really we don't have much time here on, on Earth. So we have to move on. We can't waste time. And the second benefit is, <clears throat> and I am a bit afraid to tell you that, because, um, well, in this matter, hope is a very dangerous thing. Because, like I said, it's a mechanism. Uh, and if you uh, just learn to let go maybe and uh, I really am afraid to say it but maybe if you let go if you stop trying so hard to get what you want maybe mm, by chance well, I don't believe in chance, I don't believe in that, in that thing, but maybe it will happen to you. Maybe if you let go and stop trying to get that person, get love or get somebody to be in a relationship with, maybe, and it's a, actually it's a big possibility, but I really don't want you to concentrate on it. Uh, maybe it, it will happen maybe somebody will arrive or show him herself maybe you will find somebody then and I really believe it's a mechanism <coughs> that our maker our our God our Lord 
made into us because really when you are so stressed about for example a relationship for when you are stressed about being with one person with that person you have you know somebody that you are in love with so even if you are in a relationship with that person with the person uh, with the love of your dreams of your life of whatever uh, it's a great possibility um, that you won't be happy and actually it's almost certain that you will never be happy with that person why because you will start to expect too much of that person you expect that she or he will feel everything in you with himself which is impossible impossible really because she or he is just the same person just a human being he's not god almighty he can or she can be a very wonderful person but nobody can feel you feel the hole feel the gap in you with himself it's impossible so it's just going from not it's like going to into a house by the back door you know first you have to achieve being happy with yourself then you can try and build a relationship because remember that only happy people make happy relationships and that's a fact that's undiscussable really and it's the same with your passion with your job with whatever even if you achieve something that you want so much you will start to uh, get annoyed you will start to get frustrated because you will uh, do everything according to this job you will do uh, you will do everything you know depending on this job or on this passion or on this thing that you want nothing can really uh, stop you from seeing uh, the whole world no job no passion no love no relationship can be that great for you to lose yourself in it really you will for you know if you even achieve that you will for some time you will be you think you will be happy but after some time some time passes uh, you will start to get frustrated again remember a happy person is a person that expects much of himself that doesn't let, let go that works on himself so really look around find yourself alternatives to the thing that you want the most the thing that you want the most and re lose you know the ways of thinking of those so-called normal people because it's really not normal thinking just thinking in uh, three four ways of life that are acceptable which is as well just stupid and yes i understand what i said today is really hard and maybe you will never want to hear from me again i under i i, I will understand because what i want from you right now is very painful like i said it took me four years to uh, just get in get ready to actually make that change in my head but remember if you don't do this if you don't open your mind if you don't open yourself your open your heart everything that i will be saying in the next chapters will have no sense no sense at all really so find yourself your freedom find yourself freedom 
from those schemes that you make make up in your head be free be open and I will take you to places where you can be happy thank you for being with me here today tonight thank you for listening to what I'm saying and if you liked it subscribe my channel and pass it on maybe we can together help well somebody else I want to help as many people as I can that's why I make this channel and these chapters so if you know somebody who is in that place pass it on really okay thank you again and <clears throat> I will hope to see you well in some times Bye.